Welcome back everybody to season four of ZetaCraft. This is episode 14 with me, Mindless. And in the last episode, we actually finished our tavern. That's right, we finished the entire build. However, in the last episode, we did not do any of the interior. Uh, so I did that off camera. Yes, I did, because there's a lot of decorative blocks, a lot of placement. So I did it off camera and I figured I'd just show you the results. So here it is. Look at this. Check it out. Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> so uh, obviously this is the bar area and you can see back here we have all the different spirits on the shelves. Uh, we do have some cups and plates uh, here and a little bar stool that we could sit down on and uh, yeah, serve me up some ale or mead or whatever is being served so <laughs> it's pretty cool uh let's see what else do we have we have the kitchen over here and uh i thought this came out pretty cool so you got the the big fire here which basically keeps everything warm in the tavern itself during the uh the winter times during the summer uh, i guess you know well i guess it's just a little too much heat but uh we have some really cool blocks now in this season these are actually uh ovens and uh grills which is really cool, and we could actually make these uh, iron pans and pots. Now, I know these pots are part of the Farmer's Delight mod pack, and I know you could start, uh, you could put ingredients in here and make soups and stuff out of it, but I've yet to figure that out, so I can't show you what's what's being done there. Uh, yeah, so what else do we have? Uh, back here, we just have crates of food, so potatoes, and uh, I forget that's maybe wheat or something like that, and obviously we have our our sink. Uh, the cool thing over here is we have a sink here, and I thought this would be really cool. So I put these gutters over here uh, to act like the, I don't know what the official name is, but basically uh, when you're behind the bar and you need to run stuff through and, and dispose it, you have this water here that flows through. So I thought that was pretty cool. And we have these things, which are china cabinets. Yeah, some new blocks again. Uh, you can actually store stuff in here like chests, but uh, yeah, china cabinets are all pretty cool. So yeah, this is the uh, the bar and the actual kitchen area. So if we look at the dining area now for all the patrons, we have ourselves plenty of seating. We have all different kinds of seating. So we have table for two, we have table for four, and we even have the big table over here for uh, massive parties or lords and ladies to come. Uh, we also have over here just a uh, family style sit down and uh, you know everybody can sit down, eat as they wish, sort of cafeteria style. So. That's pretty cool. Uh, I got some statues over here. <laughs> I guess they're trophies of, of some kills. And uh, this is one of the new paintings that we have with the mod pack as well. I thought it was kind of fitting to put here because it's kind of like, you know, for the lord and ladies, they could come into their own private chambers here if they want to. Uh, I wouldn't say chambers. I guess a private dining area. So again, that's really pretty cool. And I think all these seats, I think most of them, yeah, most of these seats you could actually sit down in. So I could sit down and anybody could sit down and look at that, we got ourselves some grand uh, turkey feast in front of us. So that is also part of the farmer's delight right here is the turkey feast. And that is, uh, it takes a lot to put together. So um, yeah, not, not cheap to have three of them sitting here on a table. And again, we have some uh, new paintings from our mod pack, which I think are really cool and some more of the china cabinets. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at upstairs and see what we did with the actual bedrooms. So we have the bedroom over here, which is just a bedroom for one. And you can see it's just, you know, modestly decorated. You got a little little table. You've got your bed over here, a little nightstand, some bookshelves, uh, somewhere to put your clothes. So, uh, yeah, eh, nothing too much. It's very simple, you know, room for one. And over here we kind of have a room for you know, may maybe maybe a couple, maybe, maybe a couple with a small kid. So you got the three or the king-size bed here. Uh, we have uh, armor stands over here, so if you want to hang up your armor. Uh, some dresser drawers again, and this one even has a couch. Yes, you could sit on these. It's fantastic. So a you know, little place to rest and relax and, I don't know, just, you know, talk about the day. Whoops, hitting the wrong buttons now. And a little desk over here and a fishing trophy. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool room. I like it. Let's move on. Let's move on. And this one over here is a little bit bigger of a room. So we got two uh, two double beds here, so maybe we could, uh, I don't know, maybe four people. Yeah, four people I'd say could be in here. And there's a little more seating area, so there's uh, the couches over here, and then there's little chairs over here if you actually want to cozy up to the reading nook and read a book. And this one's actually equipped with its own little heater, so yeah, we can, uh, we can put stuff in here. You can actually smoke up some stuff and uh, heat up your room in the winter. 
So yeah, this one's gonna cost you a little bit more, but uh, it's probably well worth it. And then over here we have the owner's suite. Uh, this is actually the biggest suite here, and I think it's very, very cool. You have this nice big living area right here. Uh, excellent paintings again, really fancy lamps and some end tables with books. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, we also have your own fireplace right here. So yeah, you could stoke your fire if it gets too cold. You have your own fireplace, so that's really cool. And you got a little stove here that you can cook on, boil some water, and do some things with. So, yeah, yeah, a little more upscale, a little more upscale. And you got this nice little hanging chandelier light, nice table for four here with some china ware. So, yeah, again, big step up. And china cabinets here, um, like, you know, put your china away when you're done. And then in here, you got your sleeping quarters. So it's actually separated from your living quarters, another perk. And here you could sleep, I guess, uh, four people or just two very large people. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a pretty cool room. And uh, this overlooks the, the foyer and a little bit of the kitchen, the bar area. So you can keep an eye on uh, what's going on with your, uh, with your tavern. So, that being that, I am I'm officially saying we're done. We're done with this build, and I think it's magnificent. Hopefully we can get some other Zetas to come on by, and uh, we'll serve them up. But now we have to move, not from the interior, but now to the exterior. So I did some sprucing up here on the exterior. Uh, not to say a whole lot. I just I just added some some specialty leaves over here, um, which come with the mod pack as well. They're pretty easy to do. You just take some regular oak leaves and you're putting them in a botanist table. We have something over here to my right, which I'm purposely not showing you, because I'm going to show you this. This is the before. And now this is the after. I know, I know, I did a lot of this off camera, and uh, shame on me, but I, I kind of got carried away. I, I, I want to build something really cool in this area, and I was like, well, I need, I need a better platform. I don't want it to float right away. So I kind of, like this platform here, I'm going to build in uh, this episode, something really cool. But I didn't want it just floating, because uh, it was. It was kind of like, well, if I build here, it's just going to float. So I figured, well, I just put a little bit of a groundwork in, and then... That little bit spread, and that little bit spread, <laughs> and eventually I had done all of this. So let me do a quick F4 here. So obviously you, what you can see is I expanded the shoreline. So I, I made that a little bit nicer slope. I made it a little bit bigger. I added uh, some of uh, a lot of different variety of stone over here to, to give it some actual like cliffside look to it. And then I put in this little pathway right here with a whole bunch of different granite blocks. And we're allowed to create a lot of different granite blocks with this mod pack. So I used a quite a large variety, if not all the variety of granite blocks that it lets me create. So I created this, uh, this pathway here that's going to lead up to this extraordinary area right here. And uh, yeah, I guess we could talk about what's going to go here. So earlier on in the season, I realized that we could make... Uh, let's see if I can find it. Let's see. We can make chicken. Chicken sandwiches? Yeah, right here. Chicken sandwiches. So earlier on in the season, I, I realized we can make these chicken sandwiches. And if you look at them, they're a fantastic food source. And I was said, that's going to be my food of choice for the season. However, I really couldn't get a lot of cabbage. And I really didn't have a way to get a lot of wheat uh, or even carrots. I mean, well, I kind of had a lot of carrots, but not a ton. Uh, so I really want to live off of those for the season because I'm getting tired of just eating this uh, roasted chicken. I have to, you know, keep replenishing it, and it's just, uh, I don't know. I just get tired of it. So I want chicken sandwiches. So what this is going to be is this whole area right now is going to be turned into a garden. That's right. It's going to be a garden that's going to grow us the wheat for the bread, the cabbage, uh, a carrots, and what was the last thing? I think that's it, right? Yeah, carrots. Yeah, I think I may actually throw some potatoes or something in here as well. So we'll get all of our crops growing right in there. And this is also a nice little backdrop for the uh, the back of the tavern, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's... I think it's getting dark, right? Yeah, it's starting to get dark. All right, so we'll we'll sleep off today and, uh, yeah, we'll get right to it. Oh, oh, wait. Before we do that, I have to actually show you something. With the Farmer's Delight, there is now this thing called Rich Soil. And what this does is this allows you to grow crops on this soil without irrigation. However, there's a little catch. This actually has to have blocks surrounding it. 
Like, I can't just put this here and then grow something. It actually has to have blocks around it. And it will grow, but it will grow very, very slow. If you have irrigation on it, then it will grow, uh, I think, like two times faster than normal dirt block with irrigation. So we're going to be using a whole bunch of this. And in order to make that, you need basically dirt, bone meal, rotten flesh. That's right, there's actually some use for rotten flesh now. Isn't that fantastic? Tree bark and some straw that you get from using a knife to harvest wheat. And you'll get yourself some straw. Right here, straw. So you put all these ingredients together and you can create organic compost. And once you have organic compost, you have to place it in the sun. And there are some activators which help convert this quicker to rich soil. One of them is podsol. So over time, with this being in the sun, and with maybe an activator next to it, this will eventually turn into rich soil, which we can then use in our farm. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get going with this build. Right, we made some fantastic progress on this back garden area where we're going to plant everything we need to make our chicken sandwiches. However, there is something that we still need to add to it. These lights right here. This is new to the mod pack, of course, so I'm trying to use as much blocks as I can from there. This is the orange cube string lights. So we can get two of them from these larger ones. And these larger ones are made from string orange dye and some glowstone dust but what makes them even better is that you could turn them on and off so if i click on it now they're flashing click on it again they're lit up and flashing see so that's really really cool so we're gonna leave them like that because we want them lit up and uh yeah we're gonna string them all the way around all these poles and bring this whole enclosure together all right let me get that done real quick Oh, how fitting it is that we finished putting up all the string lights just as the sun is going down so we can actually see how these look at night. Look at that! Oh, that looks so cool. So inviting once we uh, once we figure out how to spawn proof for the area around it. So anybody inside uh, who's visiting the tavern can uh, come out and hang out on the garden patios here. So that is really cool. I'm loving the way this looks. Yeah, we got a little hedged area in over here you know, with the backdrop. Uh, of the woods, but we'll have to we'll have to do something about the spawning rate. But yeah, it looks really cool. We got we put in a path right here that leads down to the shoreline area. So if you wanted to, you know, hang out at the beach area, you know, you can. So, but yeah, these these lights, man, they they just they just tie it all together. They, I just really love how they look. All right, so you guys know what's last. Last is basically to till all these plots and plant everything we need. So uh, yeah, let's sleep, uh, get rid of these mobs, and get this going. All right, our crops are all planted and they have grown up really well. I've already harvested uh, some of the cabbage because I wanted to make myself some chicken sandwiches and I've got 21. So yes, we now are going to eat like kings because we now have the chicken sandwich. Yay! And if you can see behind me, we have some bees flying around. That's right. If the uh, rich soil wasn't uh, enough to make these crops grow quick, I have put up a bunch of beehives and bred up some of these bees to help speed up the crops. So yeah, uh, I think this is it. I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. I think so. So this has been one crazy episode of interiors and now exteriors. So uh, yeah, we got to find a new project to work on soon, but I am loving the way that all of this has turned out. I hope you do too. And we did get one suggestion, actually two. We got two suggestions in the comments for the name of the tavern. So we'll be picking one in the next episode. All right, stay tuned. But for now, I am out of here.